This is a case of subcutaneous pheohyphomycosis that was very kindly shared with me by Victoria Kazluskaya. Pheohyphomycosis uh, may sometimes present as a, as a systemic illness, but uh, in dermatopathology, we, we are more likely to encounter it as a subcutaneous implantation nodule. And as such, it typically presents on the digits or on the backs of the hands as a, round, a, a, a very round, firm nodule. And patients develop this uh, following uh, implantation. Pheohyphomycosis uh, is seen as a, a large cystic structure in the dermis and sometimes extending into subcutaneous fat, and there's usually a, a compressed pseudocapsule around it. It's a cystic structure and is characterized by granulomatous and suppurative inflammation. And if we look at a bit closer, for example, here, you can see the compressed pseudocapsule, you can see an intense infiltrate, and even at this magnification, you get an idea there that there are abscesses. Now, if I look a little bit closer again, here we can see lovely neutrophil microabscesses dotted around the place, surrounded by granulomatous inflammation. And this is obviously the the uh, this the starting point for discovering why the patient has developed this this reaction pattern. And when I look at this, the first thing that comes into my mind is a fungal infection. And I, if I look really carefully, I hope that I'll find the offending organism. That's not to say that this couldn't be a manifestation of tuberculosis or atypical mycobacterial infection and so on, but by far the commonest cause is going to be a fungal infection. So let's look a little bit closer again. And if we move around, we, we can begin to pick up something that's giving us a clue as to what's going on. If we look in the center of this abscess, there, there's the abscess, lovely granulomatous inflammation with multinucleate giant cells and epithelioid cells. But if you look very carefully, even at this magnification, you can pick up, pick up brown structures. And I'm gonna look at that a bit more closely. And there's a lovely field there where one can see short hyphae uh, short hyphae there and little little yeast like uh, yeast yeast forms. Now I'm just going to move around the slide and see what else we can pick up at this magnification. There there are more there, and uh, it's this is su this is such a beautiful such a beautiful case. Um, I, I think I'll just reduce the magnification a little bit because I know there are areas here in the section where there are just numerous hyphae, and I think we're coming up to an area there. Let's just magnify this, this little bit up here. And wow, isn't that gorgeous? So they're heavily pigmented hyphae and yeast forms. And this is pretty much diagnose, diagnostic of pheohyphomycosis. It's not chromoblastomycosis because in the latter condition you do not get hyphae and you see sclerotic bodies which are yeast forms undergoing acellular division at right angles and so you get these very very obvious copper penny like, like structures. The other differential would be alternariosis. Now that's a little, little bit more difficult. Um, all alternariosis can sometimes present in, in the skin, and it, it, it differs from pheohyphomycosis in that the fungal structures are very, very hard to find, and you don't actually get yeast forms. You get 
hyphae and you get conidia growing out of the end of the uh, of the hyphae but that's a very subtle distinction and rather hard to make and obviously the the uh, final diagnosis in this in this condition depends upon the results of culture and i lastly i wanted to mention that the organisms most commonly encountered in phaohyphomycosis include phylophora and uh, alternariosis. Uh, uh, and um, it's quite interesting, phylophora can produce different conditions under different circumstances. In some patients, it produces this subcutaneous cyst. In other patients, phylophora can cause chromoblastomycosis, and in other patients, it may cause mycetoma. So that's so that's a little interesting, little bit. So, and it, it, the take-home message is: when you see suppurative granulomatous inflammation forming a cystic structure in the dermis, and you look at it carefully, and you find these hyphae and yeast forms, then it's almost certainly phaohyphomycosis. Final diagnosis, depending on culture.